These are some of Miami's richest Hispanic millionaires, and today I'm gonna meet with them to learn exactly how they did it. And you'll never believe how this first guy made his money. My boy doing it different. What's going on? What's going What's on? What's up, bro? Nice to meet you, man. Welcome to Billionaire Barbers, homie. Tell me about this business. What is Billionaire Barber? What do you guys do differently? I come to your doorstep, man. I brought the barbershop to you, you know? I'm big on time. I'm big on convenience. I tried Uber Eats for the first time, and I noticed that I paid $20 for the same $4 meal. Yeah. So I get the concept, you know? People pay for convenience. So after all this time, who are some of the people that you've been able to cut? My main guy right now is Steve Do It, 6'9". Javante Davis, bro, you name it, bro. Just a bunch of celebrities. And in your biggest month, what did this business bring in? My biggest month so far was $50,000. Mm -hmm. So what are you projected to make this year with Billionaire Barber? Ooh, this year, I'm, I'm aiming for 1.5, 2 million. I wanna know more about the story of how you got it to this point. So let's get this cut going and I got some questions for you. Let's go. What's the most you've ever gotten for one haircut? Man, <laughs> right now, Steve Will Do It holds that record. He paid me like close to $4,000 for a haircut. What? <laughs> I went to Arizona, gave him a haircut, and he was like, all right, bro, now we're gonna go on a happy dad run. I partied with him that night, right and early next day, I'm back in Miami. The billionaire barber way. So, what's your background, and what do you guys actually do for a living? My name is Margarita. And I am Colombian. I moved here when I was seven. My name is Leo. I'm Dominican, and we do e-commerce. So you guys do this together. We honestly started separately, but since we were really good at different things, we were like, we will go so much further if we just do this together. And how's this business going? Like, how much have you guys brought in this month? We're at 1.4 million this month. This month? Yeah. That's crazy. Congratulations. Maybe you could show the dashboard, show them so they know it's legit. Oh, my yeah. God. 1.6. 1.6 million in a month. So give them a little bit of background of what that actually is. We know it's e-com, but you guys aren't doing drop shipping, right? We started drop shipping, and that's how we were able to develop all the skill sets that we have now. But we've been building a brand for two years now. So from working together, like how much would you say you brought in in sales so far over the last couple of years? I mean, just the past two years with our brand, it's close to 16 million. Wow. What advice do you have for people that want to get into e-commerce and start doing this for themselves? Because everybody wants to start drop shipping, but I don't see people with results like that ever. Yeah, I think it's I think it's important to start drop shipping because you're gonna develop the skill sets and then like you can go into branding. Cause like you can't just start building a brand if you don't have the skill set. When it comes to actually getting started, what type of products do you think people should be looking for? I think any product that solves somebody's insecurity is gonna be the best to sell. So if someone has yellow teeth, take them to white teeth. If someone has a bad posture, take them to a better posture. How do you balance working together in a business and being in a relationship at the same time? One of our first dates, literally I think five dates in, we were at Moe's and we were like, okay, let's see each other's bank account. <laughs> <laughs> And she had more money. <laughs> I had more money. We turned bank accounts to each other and we're like, oh yeah, we're going to get rich together. Yeah, you're good. That's why. I think that working together makes our relationship stronger. Our communication skills are top notch, especially because we have to resolve business problems and we have to do that in the most mature way possible. And that translates directly into our relationship. Well, you two are the golden example of a power couple. So congrats on all your success. You got any words of wisdom in Spanish for the people? Si quieres ser millonario, te lo tienes que imaginar primero y empezar a actuar como esa persona. What she said. Right now, I'm about to meet up with one of my friends who's making millions of dollars per year as a trader. So let's go see how he did it. Hey, I see you. you got the whips outside today, man. Yeah, I've got a, I've got a few. I've been collecting cars for a long time, actually. You got over a million dollars in cars out here, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just in between these two, I mean, I got this one for literally 990000 and I got this one for 650000 So that's, bro, like 1.5 mil just in these two cars. So if you don't mind, tell the people what you actually do to be able to afford these things. So I started off with day trading. Mm -hmm. That was like what really helped me build a lot of my net worth in the beginning. Really, I tried to just maintain my expenses as low as possible and just reinvest every single cent that I made. To get into trading, you had to start with a lot of money or you didn't start with a lot to begin with? I mean, I personally didn't start with a lot to begin with. Um, I think I started with like around $3,000. Mm -hmm. I invested $1,500 into a few courses and then $1,500 into a trading account, which I ended up losing anyways. Throughout your career as a trader, how much have you been able to bring in? So, I mean, if you're just counting like day trading profits over the last 
six, seven years that I've been in the uh, in the industry, I've probably brought in a total maybe like seven, eight million wow. dollars worth of profits. But if you account like all of my other businesses, I've probably brought in anywhere between 20 to 25 million in total. Tell me a little bit more about your background. So you were born and raised in Miami. What about yeah, your yeah, family? Yeah. Where are they from? So my entire family is from Colombia, from Barranquilla. My dad actually came fairly early on. I think if I remember correctly, he came around the time when he was like 18, 19 years old. He was a huge motivator for me in my life. When he divorced with my mom, he lost everything. And from zero, he's been able to turn all of those, I guess, lessons that he's learned into the empire that he has now completely separate from me. I don't know if it's possible, but it would be dope if you could introduce me to him as well and we could get his story. Yeah, yeah bro, let's pull up. We literally have the warehouse he's always at, like five minutes away. We can go? Yeah, yeah let's pull up, let's pull up. Has uh, Pops pulling up right now? Yeah, Pops pulling up right now on the road. Okay. Wow, good afternoon. Mm -hmm. Great to finally meet you, man. Welcome home. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Welcome to the Gonzalez uh, Clubhouse. Time. Come inside, guys. It seems like you guys kind of like cars a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what was it like growing up for you? Where were you born at? I was born in Barranquilla, Colombia. I come from a heritage of uh, Italians, Argentinian, Venezuelan, Colombians, and little speaking, I grew up in New Jersey. Since 13 years old. My brother and I, we always worked at my dad's company. Then I worked in a shoe store. I worked uh, selling clothing at the mall. I worked as a tutor in the school. I worked as a student mentor, 80. I worked um, doing lab work for other students. Mm -hmm. I did also private tutoring sessions. So grinding to me, it was fairly natural. What did you do differently from these other dentists that are out here that are kind of stuck in the same position that allowed you to grow such a big company? in this field of dental. I think that I was, I am always very, very comfortable and very confident in my skills. Number one, my vision. I don't stop until things get done and they, they gotta get on properly. I was always one of the, the first ones to walk out of the exams. I was always one of the first ones to deliver my homework. As I said before, look, if I used to wash my car and it took me an hour and a half, why can't I do this in 30 minutes and have the same results, mm -hmm. efficiency? So I got my first practice, I got my second practice, I got my third practice. I have many doctors working for me. Unfortunately, life took a turn. I went through a divorce mm -hmm. and I started it from scratch, from zero again. What did that feel like? Uh, you know, you want to cry. I had to go through dark nights, going into a room and not see my kids. How did you bounce back from that situation and take it to this level? Positive mindset, faith, strength, dedication, uh, a lot of sacrifices. Losing is winning if you learn from it. For the last many, 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 many years, I've always slept like three to five hours a day. Wow. And I just got used to it. I do enjoy my life a week. When I'm sleeping, I'm only taking a break to recover. How has God made an impact on your life? I hear you mention faith very often. Has that been a big part of your life? Was there a moment where you didn't have that? God is everything in my life. I am such a firm believer that if you do right by the eyes of God, things do flow in place. So I wanna know now if you're comfortable with sharing over the years of running this practice, what's the most you've brought in in a month with this business? <laughs> well. Let's put it this way, 26 years of dentistry, it's putting a lot of numbers, a yep. lot of zeros. Absolutely. Big. And yes, I have been able to reach big goals. I've been able to reach beautiful numbers. I've been able to have really high numbers on a single day that most, unfortunately, doctors don't see for a year. So many people watch this video are either immigrants or they're living in another country and they see your story and they're super inspired by it. What's one quick piece of wisdom that you have for somebody out there watching this video that's at the bottom trying to climb their way out what would you say to them wow if you can do something really good and you know that you're very powerful at it and then you can now communicate that especially the digital era today there's no excuses for success but other than not being happy with what you're doing así que suscríbase a su canal siga su historia vean su canal de youtube vean su canal de instagram official translator for your channel muchas gracias